This week, I have some exciting progress to share with you. Garage time. Yeah, I've had this little um, half pint of paint mixed up to match this color that I like. This is the Bahama yellow. This is a uh, part that I borrowed from an original paint car. So I had the color matched and today I'm just going to spray some uh, test coupons and I thought why not just spray the dashboard too. I have enough. Okay, previously I filled in some holes right where that gray epoxy primer is. There were two rectangular holes there. I'm not sure what they're for, but this was never meant to be a painted dash. I didn't show the second coat on video because it was really kind of the same as the first, but this is epoxy primer. I'm just gonna let this dry overnight. I'll come back and sand it with like 400 and 600 and then uh, try the base coat. This is already pretty smooth, but I'm gonna wet sand it real lightly with some 400. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of water because epoxy primer isn't the best um, for sanding. 
but the SPI stuff is, is pretty good. So I'm just gonna try to knock some of the, uh, the orange peel off and then uh, should be ready for color. Okay, the surface looks pretty good. I tried to do as much as I could with the block, but then I was afraid I was gonna cut through some of these edges and corners. But I don't see any sanding scratches and some of the uh, little craters that were present, it's kind of like orange peel for the primer. Sometimes it kind of craters a little bit. I don't know if you can see like up top, you know, maybe right up there, there's little tiny divots in the, in the primer. Um, and that's because I didn't really do the 2K primer step that would have filled those in. I think it's go time. There we go, Bahama yellow. So obviously this is just a half of a pint. This was what was color matched and this was just used to spray a test pattern. I'm gonna be spraying just a sample piece of steel. The danger on painting the dashboard is that when I actually mix the full gallons that it's gonna be a slightly different color. Um, but because this is the dashboard and it's far away from the doors and everything else, I think it's okay to do it. If it's really not a good match, then I'll have to repaint the dash. But this is just kind of a fun little excursion into uh, what it's gonna look like. I'm just using these lines on the side of the cup to do one-to-one. -one. Okay, here's the third and final coat. It's still wet, and I think it looks pretty good. Had a little trouble spraying upside down and right here where the steering column attaches. And then underneath here was upside down as well. I did get a little piece of dust. I mean, I made no provisions to control the dust, but there is a tiny little speck right there but in general it looks pretty good and i do like the color i also shot a little bit on this panel so i could take it outside and check the color and i purposely put it on heavy on the top and light on the bottom just to see what it's like if it's got dry spray or you know a different spraying condition just to get an idea how much material to put on and what the orange peel is like and also you know what happens when you clear over the top of it Okay, today's a new day. It's been about 12 hours since I shot the last coat, which was the third coat of the base coat. And I was a little surprised to find it wasn't as dull as I expected. And I sort of second guessed myself and started looking at the can. I was wondering, you know, is this single stage? Um, because it was just a paint sample. Maybe they mixed single stage for me. And then I was looking at the part numbers on here. I don't know if you can see this. This is a matrix base coat. It's actually, uh, of inexpensive base coat. And uh, so I was looking into it to find out what I actually have. And these are base coat, clear coat part numbers. And when I came out this morning, there is a little bit of a dull to the gloss. And it, so it is a base coat. I'm gonna be putting the clear on just momentarily, but I was a little surprised at how well it retained its gloss. 
even after uh, 12, 12 hours. So uh, I did use the slow reducer. I did 30 minutes between coats. I'm new at this. I'm trying to kind of follow the rules, but I was pretty impressed with how it looks just as the base coat. Wow, now that's glossy. Really pleased how this came out. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there is one pretty big black speck right here. This is about, this is dry. It's been dry for about an hour. So I got one pretty big speck there, and then there were a couple specks here in the base coat. And the clear did a pretty good job of concealing that. So I'm not worried at all. This is gonna be easy to kind of sand and buff out. So really uh, happy with this. I didn't take any precautions. I didn't even sweep the floor. I did put this piece up here to kind of prevent dust from falling in my, from my ceiling. But this was uh, really a kind of quick and dirty way. And I, I gotta tell you, it came out really nice. Here's another little speck right in here. Um, looks like that'll sand out as well. Thumbs up. Okay, this is the test panel that I shot and it came out a little better than I expected too. I actually, you know, tried to mess this up um, with the base coat. I shot it a little too light on one of the edges. And now that the clear's on it, it, it sort of evens out the, uh, the, the tone and the gloss. Uh, there are some specks in this one, some dust specks, and I put the clear on a little too heavy on purpose and there is a run on the very edge of this part. I, don't, I guess you can't even really see it in the video, but I experimented with uh, too light, too heavy, and it turned out you know, pretty, pretty good. I'm, this stuff is really forgiving in terms of, of how it sprays on. And the orange peel on this is not too bad. Kind of see the reflections of my shop lights up there and above going through some of the dust. I don't know if you can pick up the the run is is somewhere up here at the top. Here it is just sitting on my my bench inside and the color is close. It looks like the new panel is just slightly lighter. But I don't know that this is the original paint either. Um and it's it's an older repaint. Looks like there's a little bit less brown, but it's, it's generally pretty close. Here's the inside, and I know that this is the original paint, but it's just not as glossy because it's the inside of the bumper. 
this looks a, like a little bit of a closer match here, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's perfect. If I had to choose between these two colors, I actually prefer the, uh, the newer one. I like this a little bit better than this. So I am going to uh, just go with it. Here it is in direct sunlight. And in the shadow. I know this was not the most popular color choice. In fact, I did a poll with you guys and this was actually the last place. I tend to like this color. For me, it's not a huge attention grabber. Uh, it's pretty subtle. It's a retro color in my opinion. And I kind of like it. Plus, it's the color of beer. I'm gonna be continuing to paint some parts of the car here in my garage, although it is not ideal. There's dust and dirt everywhere. Plus I have overspray issues. I have neighbors nearby and it's just not fair to pollute the neighborhood with, uh, with fumes. But I am going to attempt to paint the engine bay and the trunk here in the garage under somewhat controlled conditions with some, some draping and plastic you know, booth type stuff. But um, I can't do the whole car in here. I'm going to rent a paint booth and hopefully do the doors, the tub, all the exterior paint in a professional paint booth, which is gonna save me a lot of time and, and money. I don't wanna to try to create my own paint booth here. Uh, it's just not really feasible where I live. I'm just gonna sit here and admire this a little bit. I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, thank you guys for watching and cheers.